Hi everyone, it's Glenda from So What to 20 coming to you live on Facebook. And today I thought I'd do a What's on the Rack Spring Wardrobe Edition because um, I did receive a question where someone asked me what are some things that they can add to their wardrobe to spice it up for the spring season. So I want to just go through some of the things that I have and my jewelry also. So let's start over here with the jewelry and the accessories. So with spring, this is a great time to really have fun with your accessories. There are so many fun varieties out there. There are big chunky statement pieces all the way down to the most delicate, most feminine accessories that you can imagine. And right now, designers, fashion designers are giving us so many options. It's not how it used to be like back in the 80s where there was a specific pattern or trend that you had to follow. Right now there's just a huge variety of things to choose from. So I want to take you through some of my accessories and kind of spark some interest in you. I know a lot of people kind of have a tendency to ignore jewelry and accessories or just stick with like a basic like a pearl or a hoop or, or a diamond stud but um, let's be more imaginative and playful with our accessories so this is some of the pieces that I have um, of course uh, you have to have a fun pair of aviators and these mirrored blue ones are just ultra cool I love them And <clears throat> for the earrings, right now, the, the bigger earrings are really in. These silver ones are from Chico's. Yay, Chico's! And they're actually clip-ons, and they have the pad on the back to make them even more comfortable. They're very lightweight. They're not heavy at all, so they don't, you know, clamp down too hard, and they don't pull on your ear that you know, could give you a headache. And then these I bought from a vintage show that I went to about a month or so ago. Um, these are a little bit more sturdy. They're a little bit heavy. I've only, I haven't even worn them. Um, <clears throat> they don't have a pad, so I'll probably take off the pad from here and put them on there. And these, you guys may remember me, I wore them with a green and black outfit. Tasseled earrings are very popular and the longer the better. They go great with all the popular off the shoulder tops that are in right now. It's very sexy. I actually love these very much. It took me a while to decide to get them but now that I have them I'm, I'm just so glad that I did get them. But they look great on and they just softly sweep against your shoulders when you wear them. Very pretty. And then for the necklaces, <clears throat> some of you may remember I wore this one. This was last, last spring from Chico's and it's just the most exquisite piece. You can see the back the way it's made. It's not heavy at all. It doesn't like it wouldn't cause you a headache. It doesn't like weigh on your shoulders or anything like that. And then also more of like artisan type necklaces and jewelry are popular. Um, this was actually from Anthropology from a couple of years ago. This is actually like paper. And then it has like a little um, raffia paper is what it is. And then you can see the different beading and so forth that's on there. Really playful and fun. I usually wear this with like a really fun t-shirt and a pair of jeans. And then another one, another popular look are the tassel necklaces. This one is really fun. You can do different things with it. You can tie it around, just do it, whatever you want to do with it. Or you can put it around your neck and just tie like a knot in it. And then I've even put it around my waist and have it, and I've had it like just around my waist. 
And then this one, real fun, kind of reminds me of Morocco. This was what's from Anthropology a couple of years ago. And then anything with clear stones or colored stones. This one was it's from Loft. It's in their store right now. And then right here, this is absolutely gorgeous. I'm um, <clears throat> hosting a style event tomorrow night in my local Chico's. Um, it's for their girlfriends, besties night out. It's a style, style tips in the leopard lounge is what it's called. And I'm going to be wearing this necklace that I absolutely love. And the thing is with me, I can become inspired by an accessory. And what I mean is a lot, most people when they go shopping, they go into a store, say I'm looking for a shirt or I'm looking for a pair of pants. And then they kind of build an outfit around those pieces. But for me, a lot of times I can see an accessory that just blows my mind. And then I create a whole entire look around that accessory. So the outfit that I'm wearing tomorrow night at Chico's is actually built around this necklace, which has a very um, southwestern feel. I love it. So cool. It has the blue lapis stones in it. So, you got it? And then, this is also the time to play with perfume and decide, okay, maybe it's, you know, spring and summer. Maybe I want to change up my heavy scent to go with a more lighter citrusy or floral scent. So, I've been um, testing out some scents here. I have, um, oh my gosh, I can't see. This is a scent of a dream by Charlotte Tilbury. This is Lilac by F Life by Fresh. And this is Orange Blossom by Joe Malone. So I've been playing around with three, these three scents here. So those are some of the accessories. And then for the rings, I talked about how delicate rings are. You can go for a really chunky ring or something really soft and feminine. So this is one that I got from Banana Republic. And it's actually three separate pieces. So you could wear them individual or you can wear them all together. It's very pretty. And then here, the same feel here. These are four separate rings. And um, I like wearing them all together. And then I always stack my silver bracelets whenever I'm going for of a more bohemian feel. So, <clears throat> Coachella, the big concert, happens only two hours from our house. And... So everything around Southern California is all about Coachella. And so um, to um, style Coachella for midlife, it's quite easy. All you have to do is look for something that has some embroidery on it. And this piece here was from Zara, but I found it on eBay. And it's also kind of a rendition of the um, Ukrainian dresses that are uber popular now. And so let's go on over here to the rack. So right here is another embroidered shirt. This is from Loft. It's in the store now. It's super cute. And um, they also have this color. Um, it's like a golden rod. They also have it in trousers or pants or whatever. But I like just wearing this with a pair of denim shorts. Fun little top. And then for spring, I, for some of you, you may not know, I am a collector of white tops. I absolutely love them. One day I'm going to give you guys a tour of my closet. I'm telling you, I probably have about 50 white tops. And so now's the time to go for the crisp white top. This is one that I got from Chico's. 
and it's a no iron so yes no iron okay it's absolutely fabulous it has a good you know you could wear it um just out and loose i you know i'm not really into tucking in my white tops for some reason i like for them to be out and then this one is super cute who doesn't love a feminine eyelet and then down at the bottom it has the accordion pleat this is also from anthropology from a couple years back and then now's the time also to put in some bright fun colors nice little silk top that I picked up from eBay this is Ralph Lauren and then another thing that you want to pay attention to, again, the off-the-shoulder top is super popular. I don't think it's going to go away. Thank goodness. Um, not to brag, but I've been wearing off-the-shoulder tops forever before they became popular. I love them. And the reason why I do is because I think that my shoulders are like the coolest part of my body. I'm not trying to brag, but I'm just telling you I like my shoulders. So this is a top that I wore. If you didn't see the Chico's commercial that I'm in, this is the top that I was outfitted for. And it's really fun because it has a flamenco feel to it with the, um, the, the triple layered sleeve and it's off the shoulder. Really fun piece. So you want to pay attention to fun sleeve details, off the shoulder, the... Um, this top here is from Anthropology, and for some reason I just drew a blank. Cold shoulder, that's what they're called, is when just this portion of your shoulder is exposed. That's called a cold shoulder. And then also, lots of fun ruffle details are popular now. Really feminine pieces. And then this top here is in the store now. This is Anthropology. And I don't know if you can see the sheen that's on it. It has a real lingerie feel to it, which is really popular. Um, almost like a boudoir feel in some of the spring pieces that are out there now, where it feels like you're just in like a really pretty slip or soft um, nightgown or a nightie or a camisole. Well, this one is really pretty. And then as you can see, it has like gold grommets. And some little gold piping detail here that moves up and down the straps. Very pretty. And then you can't forget chinos, right? You got to wear a cool pair of chinos in the springtime. And then jeans. These are my girlfriend jeans, my so slimming girlfriend jeans from Chico's. And, um... These are the, um, the cropped. They come in various styles. They have the, the regular length. They have the straight leg. They have the, the, the kind that are ripped, like the deconstructed. They have styles that have like rhinestones on them and embroidery. So many to choose from, and they're so fun. So you've got to go buy Chico's, especially this week, because everything is 25% off. And then here, um, jumpsuits are popular. This is like just an adjustable strap. This one is from Anthropology, and it's like linen, so that's why it's a little bit wrinkled. But it's just fun. It's loose. It's, it's one of those things you just throw on, like you're just going for a walk on the beach, or you're running to the market, or you're going to have lunch with your girlfriends. Just throw it on. And the cool thing about this also is that you can you can layer it, just put on a t-shirt or or even like a turtleneck or whatever. So this you could wear for spring, summer, but it can also be worn for um, the cooler months. And then don't forget your jackets, a nice lightweight jacket. This is from Chico's. Yeah, a lot of plugs for Chico's today, by the way. Um, this is a denim jacket that I just got and it's a little bit unique because at the end it has the frayed detail on the hem. And then, of course, you cannot go 
springtime without having a trench coat. A traditional trench coat, but then this one has a little surprise on the inside. Isn't that pretty? I just love that. Little surprise. And then hats. You gotta wear a hat in the springtime. And then this one here, a fedora. This is the hat that I'm going to be wearing with my really cool necklace here tomorrow night at the Chico's event. And belts. Belts are really popular. A lot of people don't wear belts, but belts are really popular. They add a really cool splash to any outfit. So I've got a couple here that I like. This is one that my husband actually bought for me <laughs> when we first got married. You have a question for me? Yes. <coughs> Angela asks, Hey, are ruffles too much for larger busted women? What is your take? Do ruffles add or take away from the neat look? Okay, well, speaking from someone who myself has an ample bosom, the way you could do ruffles, and I'm sorry, you guys, I'm still trying to fight off a cold. This top here is a ruffle top, and it's so soft. It's not a stiff ruffle. Like some, I don't have any stiff ruffles here. Like everything that I have that's layered and ruffled is a softer, more pliable fabric. So the way to do it, Angela, is to look for ruffles that are softer, like silky fabrics, fabrics that will just lay gently against your body and not the stiffer ones. Also, a thing to do is, um, I wear a lot of minimizer bras. Um, they have really good ones out there now that are even strapless minimizer, and that's one that I have. It's by Liliette, and the, the straps are convertible, so you can make it into a halter, you can make it into one shoulder, no straps are at all or with straps, and it literally just holds you in without feeling like you're suffocating. So that's, that's two ideals for it, but... Um, yeah, so the stiffer fabrics will have a tendency for a fuller bosom to make us look a little bit, you know. But, you know, some people don't mind looking even more blossomed in that area. So that's my take on it. Look for the softer fabrics. So where was I? Oh, the belts. Okay, so <laughs> this belt my husband purchased for me when we first got married. And as you can see, it has the turquoise stones in it. And then this one is a belt that I got from Chico's again. And I love it because it has a southwestern feel to it. This is the belt that I wore recently in the post that I did called Santa Fe, where it was kind of homage to Georgia O'Keeffe and her whole style. Um, the images were all done in black and white, and it was probably one of my most favorite style stories that I've done. The images came out gorgeous. They're all in black and white. And again, if you didn't see it, that post is called Santa Fe, and this is the belt that I'm wearing. It's silver and gold, and it has a little bit of the black, um, I don't know what they call that process, but anyway... So, and also scarves. You gotta get scarves, whether you tie them in your hair or you tie it around your neck. Um, scarves are really popular now. I picked this one up for five bucks at um, the J. Crew Mercantile that's here in my neighborhood. They were having a 50% off sale. And I love it because it has my favorite color yellow in it. And it has some soft pink and red and navy blue and white and a little bit of green. And then this one I got from a vintage shop in um, in my local in my neighborhood. This one was only was it five dollars I think it was. But the cool thing about vintage shops they usually have a huge bin where you can just go through and pull out the scarves and they usually cost somewhere between a dollar. 
five dollars. They usually are nothing, cost nothing, and you can find the most beautiful scarves there. And this one here is from Loft, a little unicorns. I happen to love scarves, so you know, sometimes in I'll go without wearing a necklace and I'll tie a scarf on, or you can tie the scarf on your purse handle. And a lot of times I tie the scarf around my wrist to wear it like as a bracelet. So these are some of the looks for spring. And then down here are the shoes. First, the shoes that I have on. The ankle wrap ones are still super popular, always. They give that bohemian vibe, very Coachella. And then here I have these... Um, Fun little Nine West sandals. They're almost like a clog, little ankle strap. They're red suede. And then gladiators are popular, of course, because everybody who doesn't love the bohemian look. Now's the time to kind of start exposing a little bit more skin on your foot for spring. Um, you can't go wrong with the tie up tassel heel sandal. Very sexy. These are Banana Republic. These are Via Spiga. These are Nine West. And these little fun shoes. These are Zara. Patent leather is always popular for spring. And then right now, the big trend in shoes is white. Um, I know some of you are saying white. Yeah, we know that. It's kind of like florals in springtime, groundbreaking. But for some reason, white shoes kind of disappeared, but now they're back. So, you know, white sandals, white boots, and of course the fun little white sneakers. And then the mirrored silver loafers or any type of mirrored shoe is very popular. So those are some of the trends for spring. The accessories, perfume. Anything that you can do to just kind of add a little bit of fun and character into your springtime is what you want to do. So I hope that when you visit your stores or you shop online that you kind of keep these tips in mind and just have fun with it. But also remember, and I always like to emphasize this, these are things that absolutely resonate with me and my fashion personality. I am in by no means saying that you should rush out and get these things. If this is not what you like or what you love, then don't buy them. But this is what I like and what I love. So remember here at So What to 20, we talk about true style and true style being what represents you, not what other people are telling you to buy. So remember, my book, True Style, is now available on Amazon, Create Space, and Kindle. Thank you to everybody who's been buying the book and posting the pictures and sharing it with me that you're enjoying the content of the book. Thank you for supporting me here at So What to 20, and on the blog, and on Facebook, and on Twitter, and on Instagram, <laughs> everywhere. So thank you so much, ladies. Enjoy the rest of your day. and. I love you. Bye.